Hello everyone, I'm Fabio, I'm 42 years old and I'm the village chef. I ride in Paraloop in spring and now that is winter and uh, I'm still here. It was a challenge for me to come and work in uh, such a remote place, but uh, I was aware there would be difficulties and uh, I was ready to face them. Living here I found uh, the new one, but contrary to what you might think, they do not come from the location or the isolation. There is a very isolation here. I find it difficult to be economically sustainable in a world that cares more about the profit than quality. Our providers are small and uh, local producers with higher market costs than big retailers. Being able uh, to keep prices low is uh, therefore not always possible. Fortunately, the tourism we have is made up uh, a circle client uh, that is more aware than those uh, in the city. But there is still a lot of work to be done in terms of consumer education. My day starts uh, early in the morning. I check the garden and, uh, and then I enter in my room, the kitchen. There is always something to do whether there are a lot of guests or only I have to prepare lunch for the staff or the shepherds. I also try to manage the accounts together with the Neutral Ravelli Foundation because economy in the kitchen is one of the most important aspects. Then I contact suppliers and go to get vegetables and meat they have to offer me on the particular day. What I miss most is the city nightlife and the heavy friends nearby. But nothing that can be made up uh, with an half an hour drive. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Paola. I'm 38 is, years old and I live in Borgata Paraloop. I've been uh, a resident here in these huts for about three years and I've been involved in many things. My role has changed like the season, because living in the mountains gives you constant personal and professional challenges. My main task is to look after this place, the heritage it holds, and uh, to make sure that all the elements that build the cultural center work together. While I'm developing the incoming, that is focused on a slow tourism, or while I'm doing the cultural programming, I also do the woods or cut the grass. I am a point of contact between the life up here, managed by a social enterprise, and the Nutrevelli Foundation, which is down in the valley in Cuneo, and which is the promoter of the architectural recovery of this place and this cultural promotion. Together with the staff of the foundation, we organize events such as concert, theater, or artistic residences. We organize also the tour in the interactive museum that we have, and we schedule a lot of educational activity with the schools. For me, working and living here is a privilege because it allows me to carry on my daily life uh, with the ideals of freedom that the young partisans who hid in these houses instilled, and to live according to the rhythms dictated by nature and the people who guarded these lands. We try to do this with the awareness of today's historical context and with the facilities of modernity. Living in a marginal area is therefore not so complex in logistical terms. Perhaps it is in terms of community and sustainability. Hi, uh, I'm Eduardo. I came from uh, Varese. Varese is a um, uh, city. It's an uh, industrial situation that I uh, wanted to, to go away from. Uh, so I came here because um, I would love to stay in a place, uh, in a green place, uh, in particular on the mountain. And uh, it's uh, beautiful to work here and to live here uh, because it's different the way you uh, you do both both the things. Uh, it's nice to meet people, to work with people, and to take a break sometime uh, and uh, and be here. And um, and you can actually live uh, your best life uh, after work, and uh, it's really cool. 
and um, and I'm also um, learning to to work and learning a, learning a job thanks to the chef and to <laughs> this weird situation. So uh, I think we stay uh, we still here and uh, it feels good. <laughs> I'm doing here is um, I'm the um, assistant chef and. Um, it's really different to uh, m my day here is different uh, uh, than um, a classic working day in the city because uh, I wake up and then I'm uh, already here I'm ready to work and um, I can get what I need from the vegetable garden and or from uh, local producers and all the products are, are very good and uh, it's tasty it's not like uh, what you can find in a supermarket and stuff like that it's, uh, it's quite better <laughs>